So the addition of chondroitin sulfate, the proteoglycan within the nucleus of the disc, had anabolic, that means tissue building, and antifibrotic effects on nucleus pulposus cells. Welcome to the Cox Research Pearls podcast, a monthly compilation of the most exciting new spine care findings of the past month designed to elevate your patient clinical outcomes and enhance your passion for spine care. With Dr. James Cox, developer of Cox Technique Flexion Distraction Spinal Manipulation and devoted reader of all things spine. The next paper is done by Takioka et al. International Journal of Molecular Science, volume 2211, June 2, 2021. A powerful paper stating that Chondroitin sulfate proteoglycan, that is the chondroitin sulfate found in the nucleus pulposus and to a lesser extent the annulus fibrosus of the disc, has a therapeutic potential for intervertebral disc degeneration by stimulating an anabolic turnover in bovine nucleus pulposus cells under changes in hydrostatic pressure. Can chondroitin sulfate proteoglycan and hyaluronate enhance the anabolism of nucleus pulposus cells under repetitive changes in hydrostatic pressure? Nucleus pulposus cells are exposed to changes in hydrostatic pressure and osmotic pressure within the intervertebral disc. Chondroitin sulfate proteoglycan in the absence of hyaluronic acid was significantly upregulated in agrocan expression with chondroitin sulfate under this hydrostatic pressure change was significantly higher than in the control group. So the addition of chondroitin sulfate, the proteoglycan within the nucleus of the disc, had anabolic, that means tissue building, and antifibrotic effects on nucleus pulposus cells during the early culture period with no hydrostatic pressure change. Furthermore, it showed synergy with dynamic hydrostatic pressure to increase nucleus pulposus cell anabolism later in its use. Now, doctor, in 1966, I remember reading a two-volume text by Cole Goshen Taylor called The Biology of the Invertebral Disc, published at the North Shore Infirmary Hospital and Research Institute in Queensland, Australia. They were using chondroitin sulfate on beagle dogs to document stopping and reversing disc degeneration. I became extremely excited about that. I actually developed a formula. I call it discat enhanced. It's chondroitin sulfate from the green lip muscle, pernicanaliculus. We make it. Doctors are using it all over the world today. It's anti-inflammatory and, according to articles like this, anabolic to the disc. Is that potentially positive, therefore, in the treatment of the epidemic of disc degeneration? I'll present that this weekend in our class. Now, a second paper on the same subject is done by Inouye. And if you notice, whenever you read the authors, do you ever look at the authors of the papers? Sure you do. When you see Inouye and Otori and Wat Watanabe, these famous Japanese researchers, when you see some of these names, it makes you excited to read the paper. Am I right? Well, here's this paper, published in Spine Journal, August 1, 2021. You, you don't have this journal as yet. Uh, but in volume 46, number 15, August 1, the paper is entitled, an injectable hyaluronic acid hydrogel promotes intervertebral disc repair in a, rat, a rabbit model. Well, here's what the paper found. The hyaluronic acid injection 
in the intervertebral disc promoted repair. In that group, the disc height was increased at four weeks, a slight increase in the T2 intensity was seen. So they observed a homogeneous nucleus pulposus distribution and organization within the annular fibrosis lamellae at eight weeks and a slightly reduced innervation score in the treatment group. So this hyaluronic acid hydrogel significantly downregulated, now get this, lowered interleukin-6, the inflammatory cytokine seen in this degeneration. So the conclusion was injecting hyaluronic acid had the protective effect in suppressing the loss of disc height, promoting tissue hydration, and attenuating inflammation and innervation to prevent further disc degeneration. Well, doctor, <laughs> some of you know i followed this. Some of you have followed it also. Some of you have never heard of it. But you better hear of it. I mean, anything that can reverse degeneration, stimulate anabolism of the nucleus pulposus, might fit into your algorithm of treating disc degeneration, which I think you'll agree with me is probably the number one most common finding we see in the daily practice of our profession. If you're interested in that, ask Julie about Discat Enhanced. I've worked and improved this formula on the research of people much smarter than I am since 1966. Thank you for joining this month's Cox Research Pearls podcast with Dr. James Cox. We look forward to sharing more exciting spine news with you next month.